I'm Heather Young. Uh, this is Under the Oak Farm. We are situated on Vancouver Island, just north of Duncan. We are restorative agriculture. We do market gardening. We have perennial crops for commercial production. We also have chickens for eggs, and then I do wild crafting and foraging in my forest as well. As for climate change goes, we've only been on a property for seven years, so we haven't seen a huge change over that period of time. However, last summer was enough, I think, to wake up most people. A lot of our plans that we already had it started, it basically made me pretty confident those are the things that we need to do in the future. So we're using permaculture techniques to try and slow down and hold on to water on the property, uh, ponds and little pit swales. We use wood mulch to act like a sponge so that it holds on to the water near our plants and then we use a lot of permanent perennials as well so that everything kind of increases the biology in the ground, which also then increases the carbon and also increases our water holding capacity as well. I try and bring in as many beneficials as possible. We have our pollinators nearby, we have the wood mulch to keep our plants healthier with higher moisture content. Having an overstory of trees that don't necessarily have the density that are going to decrease your photosynthesis is really important because it's going to increase the moisture in that area. When there is a drought, you're going to hold on to water way easier. If you are motivated by you know, carbon in the air, um, then you're going to sequester more carbon in the ground. Trees make for a healthy system. I mean, in nature, trees grow with an understory of plants and if we reproduce that and let nature do its thing it makes everybody's life easier. We don't have to weed as much and we don't have to fertilize as much especially if you have nitrogen fixers and you've got birds that are going to eat your bugs. It's a win-win. <laughs> Our ability as agriculture to sequester carbon is far reaching on any technology that we have thus far, so we are at the forefront of that. I'm a firm believer that if we change parts of how we live, that all of our emissions would decrease, and a big part of changing how we live is also choosing better agriculture, choosing less resource intense everything. <laughs>